Hello everyone, and welcome back to a little bit more Fallout. Um, where we left off uh, is just about to head out from the gas station here, and we're going to go kill Joe Cobb and um, and his band of merry powder gangers. So it should be a little bit of fun. Uh, the first episode is up, the introductory episode. This is going to be more of a longer session got up into shorter videos I hope uh, so that you can sort of get a taste for it with the first video and then just watch it far and few between or watch the entire thing if you want. Uh, it will be put in a playlist so we're sorting all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah so let's just get sorted with this and um, they're already throwing dynamite. That's one of the things the powder gangs are known for by the way is, is sort of explosives. A lot of them will carry dynamite. Um, and they'll just, you know, throw the dynamite, kill you with the dynamite, whatever. Uh, I personally find explosives a little bit annoying. I mean, the fat man on uh, 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 Fallout 3 was great fun, because, you know, it's like a, a nuclear launcher. And the experimental Merv, I don't know if anyone ever got that. That was certainly something. That was like eight of them at once. Uh, and I haven't had it on PC yet, but uh, I've heard you can buy like 20 of them on it. Anyway. So, the Powder Gangers are now vilified. For your overwhelmingly monstrous behaviour, you have become vilified by the community. Well, I don't really care, because Powder Gangers always hate me. Uh, because I hate them, so. Anyway, but in good things, it's good news, because I'm right. Enough of your news, uh, enough of your good work, enough news of your good work, excuse, has been passed around that people like you. Not quite sure that makes sense, whether I muddled up what it said or, or not. Uh, healing limbs, blah 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 blah, yeah, I already know. So we go stats and then just click this a few times, click around here, make sure we're all fully healed up. Um, in terms of limbs anyway, and then I'm going to drink a few of these, and then loot some bodies, because, uh, I mean, later in the game what normally happens is I don't generally loot, oh yeah, he gives me some ball caps, cheers bro. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but... I know they'll understand once I explain. This. Well, I'm, I'm, I hope they would. Um, you're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. Yeah, near. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan. Camp. It's gonna be ages till we get to New Vegas. Anyway, see you later. But yeah, um, later on in the game, I'll probably not loot as many bodies. Uh, mainly just sort of boxes and stuff. Um, but right now I don't really have any money, so all it's really going to be for is to just loot bodies and then sell the stuff, really. Um, I don't want to take these because they're heavy for what they are and they don't really sell for that much either. So there's not that much point in taking them. Uh, my strength is only 6 so I'm not like a tank at the moment. So is there not a quest that it should have given me? No, okay. I thought there was like a quest, it's like, they went that away. Because I played the start of this game so many times. Um, but there is Prim, I know we have to be there, so it's not that far away, you'll take like a few minutes or whatever. Uh, probably less than that to be honest, mainly like a minute, so. But, this is the second episode, uh, second session, all that kind of stuff, and this is where we're seriously getting into it now. I'm going to sit, I'm going to record for a while. Uh, chop it up and upload it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I do apologise about the, the bit of music at the start. Um, it was a little bit experimental, if you will. Uh, because obviously there was that bit where it was all like... Um, uh, where it was it was sort of... I started the game and there was just a white screen while I was explaining what was going on. So we sort of had to change that a little bit. Uh, and our pro editor, um, Jake, who's in some other videos, he sort of chopped that up and because uh, I was a bit busy so I sort of gave it to him and I was like right here you go you do this for me thanks very much and he did it and he was a little bit experimental with it I mean I said put some music in uh, for like the starting bit obviously there was a little bit of miscommunication uh, we're still kind of new to this all that kind of stuff and the music sort of drowned me out a little bit but uh, about five six minutes in it completely turns off so um, so then you can hear me but for the start with the vigor text tester there's a few words or whatever you can't really hear me because the music's kind of loud and I suppose sort of that's my fault as well because I have a really bad mic I don't like have a professional recording mic yet because I don't really think it's worth investing in one yet um, but I will in the future definitely 
Uh, so that I can promise. But anyway, in the next episode we'll have a bit of starting music, but I think it'll be quieter and there'll be less of it. So um, we should be all right, I think, next episode is in future. But yeah, I mean, it's like, that's what, the second, third video that we've uploaded? Um, and I mean, the first one was edited by Alex, who really is kind of the channel owner, because, you know, he came up with the idea. And then James edited his video, which is an idiot plays, which you should go watch. It's quite funny, actually. Um, and then Jake edited the No Moria video, which um, we've had a few comments, actually. Uh, a lot of people have enjoyed the the music he put in the background, you know, and that was right. And obviously he tried something a little bit different with the my New Vegas video. And it didn't... Wow, I missed that thing so many times. Uh, and it didn't quite work, obviously. So but we've got that all sorted now, I think. Um, and we're getting to grips with it. I have got... Camtasia Studio 8 sorted. Uh, I was having a few problems with it uh, earlier in the week but now I've got it all sorted and it's all fixed up so I might do some of my own editing but uh, I think Jake is is definitely watching some tutorials and learning how to uh, edit like a bouse so um, we'll probably let him handle all that. Um, hey, oh, hey dude. Anyway, back to the game. Uh, I can take care of myself. Your ass. Don't say you warned. Yeah, whatever, mate. See you later. Uh, I think as well another thing was that people were a bit quiet, so um, I'm gonna turn voice up a bit and master up a bit. So it's mainly the only thing I'm bothered about. Uh, In-game audio, I've turned down. Right, like music. I mean, in-game music. So people should be a little bit louder now. I think since I've risen the uh, master volume and the voice volume so I think I'll raise the effects volume a little bit as well so but footsteps are fine I find footsteps are either really quiet in games or really loud and in this it's sort of like quite loud so um, footsteps is like the lowest at the moment but it appears to be the highest so there you go do some pro mine dodging, pro mine dodging. Nah, that didn't go so well, really. Need a drink now, I think. Uh, some sasparilla. Right. Uh, so it's in here where it's the Vicky and Vance Casino, I think. That's the Mojave Express. Those are the people that hired me to go die, basically. Um, yeah, there you go. Vicky and Vance Casino is there. Oh yeah, there's bandits everywhere and stuff. Obviously he wasn't fully prepared, just leaning against the wall there. And it did cost him his head. So, GG there, escape convict, mate. Um, there we go. He's going to try and dynamite me. But it ain't going to work. Because I got swag and he don't. Um, dynamite, dynamite. Oh, I've leveled up. Sick me. <laughs> Um, welcome to level 2. So all these sort of tag skills are quite high. Medicine I think I'll increase, impacts are more effective, science, lockpick, uh, guns, and I think I'll do, yeah we'll just do that. And then, hmm. so confirmed bachelors like 10% against male, so the same sex, and then you get dialogue options for the same sex. Intense training gives me another special. Could go for that later on. I don't think I quite need it right now. Lady Killer's basically confirmed bachelor, but backwards. Retention gives you three times as long with the skill magazines. I'm not really going to be using them. I'll probably just end up selling them. And then Swift Learner. Again, an additional 10%. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. To be honest. And then when it comes to it, I will uh, like do that three times. And I'll get 30% of everything. So I'll be getting like, well, I don't know, it's like, is it like 5 for a kill, 5 XP or what? Because it's a bit awkward, 30% of 5. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might five. want to rethink yeah. your plans. Town's gone to hell. Yeah, I know. I've been here many a time. Right, let's have a look. Uh, I have some questions. Well, about I'll answer what I can. Good. Um... Um, what happened to Prim? Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. 
Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. Yeah, yeah. We started with the breakout from the prison up the road. That's the powder gang of prison. Just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got they on it. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something. There you go. And run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, like I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Great. 